everybody, I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to SevTech Ages. Swap over there. Here we are in front of the chateau. We have got a new addition to the area. Let's check this out. Let's hop, skippity, and jump. Do we have sound? Is there sound? Let's check. Okay, there is sound. <laughs> I just, I'm sitting there going, why do I not hear any sound going on? There we go, that's how we hop over here. <laughs> so I went and digging around and found a whole bunch of slate and figured out I could make slate like different, uh, here I'll show you. There's different like stuff you can make out of slate. Slate, there we go. So you can take and make like these slate roof stairs or these slate brick stairs. So I made these things. You make this by making the slate roof and you do that by just comboing for slate so we went and got a whole bunch of slate made an awesome looking roof and made this awesome looking wheelhouse check this thing out this is so cool so we've got the water wheel going on right here just like we had it and i've got this little spot right here at the bottom that's open it's letting a water source block flow in now what we've got going on here is i'm sending power to this gearbox and this gearbox is powering a saw so we can cut trees. So basically I could place, do I have any? Yeah, I do. Okay, so watch. I'm gonna aim at this fence post. Or we can just sit here and cut the, uh-oh. So that didn't work too good. But we can cut all that up. And all this stuff just gets pulled right down into the storage crate for us. So that's really, really cool. And then this right here, why did I have this here? Oh yeah, that's what it is. So this right here, you add items and there's a hopper underneath this, like right here, a whopper, and it sends it to the millstone. So the millstone's being run. Now what ends up happening is, okay, <laughs> the game freezes, that's what happens. Well, what happens is, as this thing finishes milling stuff, it throws the item out of the block. So if it lands right in this area, it goes straight in the hopper, but if it lands right here, the water pushes it over to this hopper, and that feeds it into this storage crate. So I was over here testing it out, making some hemp fibers. So this is a really cool little area we got set up. Now we've got some automation. We got some real automation going on. Now what I'm thinking about doing is possibly building a structure off the back right here and running an axle out the back of this gearbox over here. And then maybe we could set up um, the, uh, the turntable, but I'm not too sure about it because the turntable has to be powered from beneath. So what I might have to do is build a couple of gearboxes and send power downward, like out the back, down, forward, and then back up. That's a lot of gearboxes. That's a lot of metal and stuff we have to find for, for gears and stuff. So I'm not quite certain. What was that? Oh, it's the water wheel. Watch. See it moving up the edge? For a second, I thought there was a mushroom floating up in front of the... See? I'm like, why are there mushrooms floating? No, it's a water wheel. Come on, piggy. <laughs> Stop losing your mind, buddy. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. And then we've got these little trees around here. Now, I'm going to look at... Uh, we get some messages sent to us by viewer comments via episode 26. And... Um, so we had Magpie Tier, Julia58161, and Kurt Otto, all three said they loved these torch trees, these little torch trees, especially like the ones we got going on right here. Just a, uh, a totem torch with a leaf block on top. So cool. Thought I saw a creeper over there. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> now, Soap, Soap the Great MC, and Dog Miner both said the same thing. They said, be careful nesting. Uh, inventories inside of inventories that can cause chunk corruption and I'll show you what I'm talking about where'd it go am I wearing it no I'm not okay let's do this back all right now we've got our filter on now let's start looking this is how you hunt for a backpack you could sniff it out or you could use the, uh, the little filter system there it is, right there. So I've got this backpack that we could put inside of a storage crate. And then inside of the backpack, I could put a storage crate in here. So we could, like, back and forth, back and forth, keep nestling storage systems inside of storage systems and create almost infinite storage if we wanted to in one item that we could carry around. Like, I could do that with a bunch of backpacks, put them in crates over and over, 
and then have one crate to carry around. We could carry everything around. But they said that could cause chunk corruption. And what chunk corruption is, if I'm not mistaken, is the game is measured in chunks. Let's hit F9. Okay, so see where each red line is? We'll do that and see that grid? We're inside a chunk. Those grid lines are the chunk border. So if you get chunk corruption, what happens is that chunk becomes messed up. Like in the save file, something happens and that chunk gets completely messed up. And when you try to open it up in your game, the game will crash or you'll lose items or the game will get frozen or you'll it'll get so unplayable that you'll just move like this. I mean, it gets almost unbearable. It ruins your Minecraft world is what happens. So we're not going to do that trick. We're not going to nestle things inside of things. We're just going to keep our storage systems the way they are and be safe. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, Tiffany Nelson. She helped me out. I couldn't figure something out. What in the world would we call this, this, little, this little hideaway spot inside of these trees? What would this area be called? What in the world? How is there Shoggoth ooze over here? How did that get here? Is this thing calling for Shoggoths? Or is this some weird crazy thing that's happening because... Because um, I know like one time I got withered over here and I got zapped. I wonder if this thing called a Shoggoth and it despawned. Oh, that would be crazy. We might want to put a gate up right here just to keep this area marked off. This is the bad area. I'm telling you, this is the terrible, terrible bad area. But anyway, I couldn't figure out what this area was called. I, I think I called it a cove or something. She said, no, it's called a grove. And she's right. <laughs> this is a grove. There's a little opening inside of a bunch of trees. So, yeah, we're going to get away from that. We're going to leave that alone. <laughs> so today what I decided I would do is we're going to do something just a little bit different. Um, instead of really focusing on advancements, I wanted to slow down a bit and I wanted to enjoy some of the mods that we've got running that maybe we haven't experimented with. So what I did is I went through all previous episodes and wrote down all of the suggestions people had made that I had not been able to accomplish. Maybe weren't, we weren't in the right age for it or I didn't have the right materials. So what I did is I picked out a few of those things from that list and then as I was looking through to make sure that I had the ingredients to make stuff, I found a few more items in here. Because, I mean, look, 58 pages. Crazy how much stuff is in here. <laughs> a lot of that stuff is because of chisel now. It gives us so many more blocks that we can work with. And I'm not even... Did you see that? What was that? Oh, it's barrels. I thought I saw round blocks. I'm like, wait a minute. Round blocks in my... Oh, th that... A stone pillar. What? How do you make it? No matter how much you click, you're not allowed to make it. That's the way it works. Can I hit the letter U? Will that show me anything? Ooh, there we go. That's how, yep. That's how you make it. We'll hack the system. A blue stone pillar. Oh, it didn't. No, it doesn't want to show me how to make it. And that's unfamiliar. So once again, Piggy's not allowed. Can't have nice things. Never ever. <laughs> Let's unclick that. Okay, so... The first thing you notice in my inventory is I went and got a whole bunch of black quartz ore. Now, I've got 12 pieces here. I think I need 11. I think 11 was how many I needed. Where did I... Okay, here's one. I had two more somewhere I put. There we go. So that's three. All right, so chopping. we're going to have you help us out. You go ahead and grind up the rest of that so that we can get some more black quartz ore because we're going to try and do something here that's going to really help us out. It's going to help us with inventory management. And you're probably going, Black Quartz Ore is going to help you with inventory management? Well, don't you worry. Just trust Piggy. It'll all make sense in a minute. Okay, so um, now, unfortunately, I did not write down the names because sometimes these items were suggested by multiple people. So I just decided it would be easier to just um, write down the items and go for it. If you want to know who suggested them, go through all the videos. Go watch all the videos. I mention people. I do. I mention people. And there's also comments in the comment section you can comment on when you're commenting. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find some vines. I know I had an organization system going here. It'll be the last. Yep, it'll be the last spot right there. So it was a vine trap was what was suggested to build. And I never had vines, so I couldn't figure out how to make a vine trap. Bowstring. 
What? Like when we make a violin? Thorns? A draught? A drought? Poison ivy? No thank you. A bolt of vine? Thorny vi vine trap. Which makes it almost sound like a German. Uh, a header vine trap. <laughs> So three vines makes a vine trap. Now, what I don't know is, is this something that you can get stuck in? Could I potentially get myself stuck in this thing or not? Let's find out. We place it down. Nothing's happening. I don't know what that does. Can we break it? Ooh, it gives us sticks. Oh, that's weird. It gave me a stick and a vine trap. Okay, so let's do this. I've got the slime sling, so we can somewhat get away if we get into a, a precarious situation. Here's a, a unsuspecting, uh, I was going to say victim, but you're test subject. That's what you are. Hello, Mr. Sheep. If I, if I pick you up and place you, nothing happens. Get on the vine trap. Nothing happens. <laughs> Don't be so sheepish. Break it. Okay, so it's a stick factory is what it is. That's what the vine trap is for. It's for making sticks. Will the vine trap help us here at all? Come here, sir. No, no, no. Now, I notice this. If you notice, whenever he fires his arrows, isn't that crazy? It's like this weird little animation thing going on. Let's get rid of him because he's hurting us. You stop. We're about to die. You get out of here. And the mystery meat. All right, there we go. Pew! Let's do this. Let's play this safe. We'll let him burn up. We made some food. That's what we did. That's how you make food. A piggy food factory. But now we don't have the slime boots. Burn, baby, burn. Look at them go. So I'm not quite certain what this, uh, this vine trap was supposed to do. I don't know if it's supposed to be something like... Um, Look at him go. I don't know if it had... Where did it go? Where? There we go. So far, it's a stick factory. That's what it seems to be good for. Um, better with mods. I don't think I got a book with better with mods. So if you know what a vine trap is for, can you put in a comment? Help old piggy out. Because I made the item, but I can't use the item. <laughs> it makes no sense. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it at all, I tell you. So let's go ahead and put this back, and we'll just drop that in there for right now. You know what? Let's let's clear out some of this stuff. Let's make a little space there. All the all, all the off camera work is going to get done on camera. That's the way this goes. And let's see here. I've got there. We go. I was gonna say I know I've got a spot here for different uh, stone items. That can go there. We'll put that there. That can go there. And do I polish stand a sight spot? Nope. Oh, we got some rotted flesh. Okay, yeah, that was something else I wanted to show you. And we're probably going to need to... I think we're going to need it. I think we need glue. So if we need glue... Not a glue, but if we need glue, <laughs> we'll definitely see. So the next thing that was suggested... Yeah, I know. I was shot by a skeleton. Shame, shame, shame. The next thing was goggles. That was suggested several times. So traveler's goggles, base... Traveler's Goggles Zoom. I'm wondering if this is going to let me do the same thing that I'm doing right now with Optifine where I can zoom. I don't know. But for, I guess we have to build a base. We've already got the base. Our chateau is our base. So we shouldn't have to build that. But we do. <laughs> so let's see here. How do we build the base? It's three. Whoa. I saw that. Did you see it? It's a pigman leather. No, sir. Um, a piece of twine or string two blocks of glass, and three pieces of leather. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've already cooked up some glass. I was, We'd put all that sand. There's two pieces. I was going to say we'd put all the... Oh, nice. Okay, so there's three pieces of glass. And let's go ahead and do this because I think it said that next level... Yeah, it needs two pieces of glass as well. Okay, so three pieces of leather and a piece of string. I think I've got enough leather. It says two pieces of leather. Her. So are we going to have to go through the whole process? Dried hide. So let's see here. How do we how do we do the leather again? <laughs> yeah, it's been a little while since we made that. So leather is from wet tanned hide. 
wet tanned hide. Okay, so we've got dry hide. I need ground resin. I've got a fluid bladder. Ground resin comes. Oh, look! We got a reason to use the millstone. So let's get some bark. Bark! I know I've got some over here somewhere. Where did I put it? There we go. One piece of bark. And let's run over here. And we get to use the 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 millstone thing. So let's see. When I angled like this, I flew way too far. So let's try this. There we go. That's like a pro. Uh-oh. <laughs> Squat. There we go. Nice. Okay, so right here we put the oak bark. And it's going to go right in there to the millstone. And we don't have to we don't have to get hungry anymore unless we want to. I could go get my hunger machine. Nice. And then I could you know, but we don't need to. We don't need to do that. No, we don't need any more hunger than is absolutely necessary that I can think of. We'll we'll get our nutrition going the slow way. So let's see here. I need the fluid bladder. Our infinite you know, and I thought about this. Why in the world do I have this in the way? I have to sit there and fool with trying to get where I can reach this. Now we can do this properly. So let's do that. Uh, crafting stick. And let's see here. Leather. Wet tan. There we go. And I think that's all we need is just that one piece. So we're going to get that drying. And while that's drying, let's put you back. Watch me have some resin in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I do what I want. Okay, so while that is drying, let's look at compost. Compost was somebody something somebody had mentioned. Now, I looked up compost, and there was a bunch of different stuff that was coming up, but then I saw this, compost. So this looks easy enough to make. Accepts any slats and a chest. And I was like, well, what does, what does this thing do? So we'll hit you. We could burn it, but we don't want to. So it does this, and it only has these two recipes. Biomash. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we can convert a bunch of seeds into biomash. Let's back up. And that will give us fertilizer. So we could do that instead of bone meal. But I don't really need to do that because um, I've got a farm that's going to make a ton of bone meal for me. I'll show you that in a second. So this one canola seeds i don't know if it's only canola seeds but it appears to be we'll let you make biomass and i'm like okay well, what does biomass do so we hit the letter u you can use it for smelting you can make bio coal so i hit the letter u here and it will smelt burn it'll smelt four items and it has a burn time of 800 and it looks like it can oh what is that an alchemic condenser and it can go in the porcelain heater. So instead of using coal or charcoal, we could do that. So let's build one of these. If anything, just to experiment with. Wicker? No. How do we make birch slats? Four of those. We'll make four of those. And we needed how many? Six. So we'll need to make eight. So we need eight of these. Acacia wood planks molding. No, back up. How do we make these? Acacia, oh, a wood planks molding. Let's try that. Or just molding. No. M-O-U, did I spell it wrong? There we go, molding. So how do we make this? With a saw from a, a, a that piece that's from a block. Okay, so this is another cool thing with this saw you could do. I was messing around with something, and I had to make one of these pieces, but I couldn't remember. Okay, so we've got some wood. Oh, man, this uh, this little water mill automated thing is going to pay off in spades, I tell you what. We're going to get quite a bit done with it. Come on, Piggy, you can do this. Get over there. Okay, so I've got this. We place that. There we go. And that gives us these wood plank sidings. And then from here, we could hack these down. We'll just go ahead and hack all of them. Does that give us eight? Yes! That gave us eight. Okay, so what was I using that for? For those slats? Let's go back to compost. And we'll stay here because I might need this uh, this saw set up for something. So that, so four of those is gonna give us that. So we could craft that right here. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll give us that. And then we need a chest. So crafting stick, make a chest. There we go. 
And then from there, let's make a compost. There we go. Now, where should we put said compost? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we could put it down here. Like it could look... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Let's see here. Where would be a good spot for this? Maybe... Maybe right here. It's empty. Yeah, we know it's empty. But is there any canola? Canola seeds. One, two, three, four. I think it said you need four. Nope, that didn't work. So if I have these in my hand, one, two... Oh, it just... Wait, why is it... Is it showing me that there's four canola seeds in there right now? I mean, they left my inventory. Let's let's try four more. One, two, three, four. Do I have any canola planted? That's the other thing. Okay, now there's eight, and it showed up a piece of dirt. That's interesting. If I right-click, I can move it. Right-clicking on that doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I've got canola planted. Oh, nice, I do. Okay, so come on, you. We'll plant this. We'll just plant all the seeds that we got because we might need this for a fuel source. There we go. And what floated over here? I Did I pick it all up? I think I picked it all up. Nope, I just did. I picked up the last seed. Boop. There we go. So we're going to let that do its thing. How long does it take to compost? Did it say? Let's hit the letter U again. No, not that. 150 seconds? So we'll come back in about two minutes or so. Okay, so that'll that'll give me a moment to, to um, come over here. We're multitasking today. That's what we're doing. I get the feeling that might be what we call the episode, multitasking. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and cook this. Now, hmm, this is another thing that I've been holding off on doing. How many do we have? I may have to skip this because... There's a lot of crafting involved to get the, the super super whopper hopper going. Where did I put it? You know what? I bet I put it in the hunting dimension. So let's go over here because I kept gabbing on about it. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I might do the crafting in between episodes. Let's do this. Since we're going to go off on this little adventure and do this. Let's go ahead and set this up. You go ahead and start cooking. We'll come back for you in a minute. Cooked mystery meat. Mm hmm <laughs> So over here, uh, in, in a few episodes ago... Uh-oh. Can we get away from using the ladder? Whoop. Yes, we can. <laughs> Boop. Nice. So over here, a few episodes ago, we had made a... Uh, like a mob farm kind of set up over here. And I went ahead and finished it. I had a problem where um, creepers were blowing up. Creepers were getting in fights with other mobs, and they were blowing up and blowing holes in the floor. And then the other thing was I realized we're going to start messing with um, Endermen. I was worried maybe they can move the dirt blocks, but I don't think they can move a dirt block if it's flat on the ground. I think the dirt block has to be exposed. I'm not for certain. Let me know in the comment section about that, because if they can remove the floor, then we'll need to swap out these um, these floor blocks. For something else. These floor blocks down here, we'll have to swap them out for something else so that the, the Enderman can't move it. But looky here. Whoa, you get out of here. <laughs> Can you see them all on the ground? Look at that. I've got, um, I think it's Ocelot. I've got the Ocelot totems all set up. And so what that's going to do is it stops creepers from exploding. And it's really cool because I've seen a few of them, like they start swelling and flashing like they're going to blow up. But then nothing happens. They just kind of sit there. So I've got these set up. It messes with the spawning a little bit. Like it's reducing the efficiency of the farm just a little. Come on, you. Here you go. Just get beat up for me. Thank you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but at the same time, I'm not too worried about it. Because I'm not looking for extreme efficiency here. I'm just looking for a way to automate gathering some materials. And a way to keep creepers from blowing everything up. So see Mr. Skeleton right there just running into punji sticks? Well, he's getting beat up. I need to put a roof on this thing because my fear is I'm going to hop down or I'm going to get hit by a skeleton and bounce just high enough to go over that wall. And then I'll be stuck. 
<laughs> we'll be stuck way down there at the hunting dimension. I'll have to climb back up here somehow. So over here, we're gathering up a whole bunch of stuff. So see, I've got a whole bunch of bones that I can start getting and rotted flesh so we can make glue. We can make plenty of um, bone meal, and then we got a place for string. But this, these shadow gems, I'm going to leave one so we've got a placeholder, so we've got somewhere for it to capture. See, this one's got a whole bunch more stuff in it. And this, ender dust. So an enderman was up there and somehow got killed, and a creeper oyster fell from one of the creepers as well, which is kind of creepy. So let's leave one of those there. I don't know if 14 is too many or enough, but let's go ahead and just take that. You know what? Let's do this. Like I said, I can't remember if we're going to need... What? I thought that there was way more rotted flesh than that. Oh, well. We'll come back if we need it. I couldn't remember if I was going to need glue or not. I think there was an item I wanted to make and it needed glue. But I can't remember. There was one thing that needs like iron to go with it. And I didn't have the iron. And I didn't want to... I wanted to do this just like some random crafting stuff this episode. So maybe next episode... I know we finally got to iron and everybody's all on the edge of their seat. And then I don't do anything about getting the iron. I've, I've let you all down. It's okay. We'll get to it, I promise. Oh, so let's go over here and get this. This, You're only halfway cooked. I guess because I left the dimension. Okay, well, you keep cooking. I bet the compost is done. Let's go over here and check the compost. Keep my sword at the ready, just in case another random creeper happens to show up. Biomass. No. Oh, that's right. If I go to the hunting dimension, I need to squat. And now... I can right click. Cool, so we've got eight pieces of biomass. Let's hit the letter U. You sm wait, you smelt the biomass to make bio. So I've got to cook it to cook it, but we can put it on a stone grill. So let's do that because the stone grill has got one of those uh, fire blocks underneath it. So that's like an eternal burning fire. And once I get this stuff set up, I may not need to have like cooking stuff at all. Come on, you! You're like you're like me. You're you're hogging the space. <laughs> Whoop! There we go. So we've got that. Awesome. And I'm gonna need a bunch of sticks now. Some of y'all who watched previous episode probably know what's going on. You're probably like, oh buddy, oh buddy, I know what he's about to build. So let's do this. Let's put that back. Okay, so we are going to make an A, A I O T, Aoit, something like that. Let's see here. No, we don't want to make compost. That would be some expensive compost to make with a bunch of black quartz. This thing, a black quartz A I O T, A I O T, I O something. <laughs> so basically, what we have to do is craft a bunch of these these different items. So I'm just gonna, nope. Why did that not work? Click that. I want to build you. I guess I have to right click that first. There we go. So let's make make an axe. There we go. And then we'll make a pickaxe. Now you might be asking yourself, Piggy, why in the world are you doing it this way? Well, because if I try to remember which tool I made, I might accidentally make one tool twice. Yeah. This is called uh this is called safety. <laughs> so let's make whoop. Nice. Oh, we got four pieces of quartz left over. So this one tool, A-I-O-T. Let's see here. Let me check my notes real quick. Um, oh, so I'm, I'm using notes from uh, episode 27. So Dog Miner and Julia58161 said that A-I-O-T, yes, it is like a Swiss Army knife. And Dog Miner said it's an all A-I-O-T, all in one tool, which totally makes sense. And Julia said, it's great for compacting space and inventory, and it has a really high durability. So here's what I was talking about. See, I can put this one tool here. I don't need any of these tools. One, two, three, four spaces immediately cleared up. Look at that. Yeah, we know the world backup's done. I didn't hear the backup alarm go off, so I didn't know you were backing up. <laughs> so let's see here. Which chest? Right there. So we can just dump these tools in here. We're good to go. We got one tool to do one tool to rule them all. <laughs> Let's see here. That what was I trying to get rid of? My brain just froze up. Let's do that. We'll get rid of that. 
And, oh, the black quartz. Arr, the black quartz. We'll get rid of that. There we go. Oop, and let me get my, my, um, my notes back where I was. Okay, there we go. So, Choppin did that. We got the black quartz taken care of. We, we've got the biomass of cooking. Ooh, it's finished already. Nice. Bio coal. So, we have a way to cook stuff now. It said it smelts four items. So, I guess I could just, boop, pop that in there. Let's go ahead and get some more glass. Yeah, we need we need one more piece of glass, don't we? So let's go back to back to goggles. There we go. I need my crafting thing, don't I? Yep. And I need some. Ooh, maybe we can use this stuff. That'll work out. Can we make that? Nope. We need one more piece of leather. That's what it was. The leather should be drying. Are you dry yet? Drying rack. Gave us... Nice. Okay, so we got three pieces of leather. What was I missing? String. Wait, what was the other item? Twine? How do you make twine? Why do I not have twine? Watch it be like something that you have to use the hemp. No, plant twine. I've got that. How do you make twine? It's not going to show me the recipe for twine. Why not? Cauldron. That will let me make other things. Spindle will Okay, fine. Let's just uh let's just circumvent everything. We're gonna get some string. Check this out. We'll we'll fix its wagon. <laughs> um okay, so white fleece and that little tool right there, what was it called? The work blade, that's what it was. I think there was another way to make string, but I can't remember. I know I could go over to my little farm, but I didn't want to have to go through that uh, that interdimensional portal. So let's go back. Nope, click it. There we go. Not gloggles. Goggles. Okay, so that should give us these. Traveler's goggles. Let's see what these do. Can we put them on our face? That's not working. Okay, I could have it in my offhand. I wonder if it would work here. Uh-oh, where did the goggles go? Uh, did I just throw them on the ground? Where did my goggles go? Here we go. Whew. <laughs> okay, we'll swap over here. No, 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 no. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Let's see here. There was a bobbles. I bet that's what it is. Okay, so one more time. There we go. And if I shift left click... It moves it there. That does nothing. Oh, wait. It goes right there. Oh, that's my offhand. So that doesn't count. Well, what in the world do you use that for? <laughs> what a bust. Let's do this. Traveler's goggles with a zoom. Helmet accessory. Do I have to be wearing a helmet? Hmm. All right, well, what do we have that we can make a helmet out of? Why did I double-click it? Come on, you. Helmet. Hmm, I don't know any of these materials that I got laying around. We got leather. I don't want to make that. Iron helmet, golden helmet. Black quartz helmet. Three, four, five. How much black quartz did I have? I bet I'm missing one, aren't I? Do I have to go to the beneath just to find one piece of quartz ore? I hope not. How much? Four. We need one stinking piece. <laughs> All right, so let's try out our quartz ayoyot. And let's get some food here at the ready. And a torch. We'll use a torch. I'm going to do this little trick. No, I'm not standing too far away. There we go. So I was doing this trick earlier where basically I was uh, scouting for the black quartz from up above on my platforms up here. And when I saw it, then I would jump down to it. And as soon as I landed where it was, I would place a torch down. And then I, I went crazy with the torches. Because <laughs> there was this real weird thing that happened. I heard this noise. This giant purple hand showed up on screen. And then like a creeper exploded. There's a bunch of... Oh, there's some black quartz right there. 
All right, so it's lit up. It looks like there's no mobs around. So let's go for it. This always makes me sick to my stomach. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 go back. Go back. Now what's so cool is if a mob starts to attack us, we could start smacking them with this tool. Ooh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Is it just you? Okay, let's see. Ooh, that actually does some good damage, too. Five hits to get to the center of a zombie. I think with a stone sword, it was taking me like 10 or 11. So that's a nice little tool to have. Awesome. So, nope, slow down. There we go. And I got to make sure I go through the right, the, uh, the correct portal here. You're bad. I wish I could break you, but I can't. Um, is it further up? Yeah, it's right there. That's what it is. There's, there's several of these little teleporter thingies that I set up and then ended up bearing. I probably need to go open up like an air pocket around them because I've stepped through that one once by accident and I ended up suffocating because it's buried. Whoop, there we go. All this work to make a helmet for goggles that might do something that Optifine already lets us do. But who cares? We're going to try it anyway, just to see what this thing does. Um, stuck in the ground. <laughs> okay, chopping. One more time, buddy. One more time. So I guess while that's going on, I could work on making some of those, uh, those whopper hoppers. So let's go ahead and get that thing making. And what was... What was the... the Let's see here. Hopper. The flame grilled whopper hopper. We could do it with lava wood. Onto a regular. No. What's the one where. Oh gosh. Yeah. That's got a whole bunch of different. Is there anything else we can use this shadow gem for? Let's see. Hit the letter U. Okay. You can use it to make energy pedestals, a sacrificial altar. An energy collector, an energy relay. So a whole bunch of stuff for uh, blood magic, it looks like. I think that's what that mod was called. Back up, what was that? A shard of oblivion, okay. Use it to make a secondary book? Huh, we might have to do that just to see what that book is about. Oh, so there's three different, four different books. Okay. Let's see, what is... Shadow Gem Shard, that just goes into that. This, a uh, Tartaric Gem, okay. And then this makes horses run. <laughs> what can you make out of a shard? A Staff of Rending and a Stone Tablet. Okay, so there's a few uses for it. Well, we, we might do the, the Lava Wood trick, because that's just a regular hopper or a whopper. Which is a little difficult to make, but it's not too difficult. We can make a couple of those. So what was the... How did you do the lava wood? A fancy crate. Accepts any... Okay, so a wood plank and just pour lava over it. I guess you place the wood plank into the... Ooh, it consumes the cast? What would be the cast? Huh. Okay. Maybe it consumes the birch plank and turns it into lava wood. So we would have to build a tinker smelter to do that. And I think that was one of the things we're going to have to do anyway, was build a tinker smelter. So, right click it so you don't get a ticket. We'll do this, and we're going to go ahead and cook this real quick. Let's see here. Let's. You guys have not been used in a while, so we'll go ahead and cook you right there. So we've got the vine trap. We've figured out the compost. While that thing's cooking, there's one more thing. This thing is crazy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Piggy backpack. <laughs> right click mobs to pick them up. Now I can pick up mobs right now, but I wonder if this lets me pick up bad guys. We need to make two more pieces of leather and two sticks. Oh good, I've got I've got that. Oh, and we got resin. How much is here? Ground. Nice. We've got just enough resin. No. You come with me. You come with me. It must be resin. Is it from two different trees? That's weird. It didn't want a combo. Okay. So let's get the fluid bladder. And we'll go ahead and... What was it? That. 
Why can I not remember that recipe? There we go. I wonder if you could use a bucket of water. Ground resin, dried hide. Nope, it wants you to use the fluid bladder. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. And yes, I got another clay bucket so that um, we're not tied down to having it filled with milk that we're not allowed to use. <laughs> Did that cook? Nope, it didn't. Apparently, it only wants to go on the grill. Or is that correct? Nope, it needs to cook and become that that other stuff, that weird shape. Where'd it go? You! Black quartz. So, nice. So, crafting stick. We'll make a helmet. So, if anything, we're getting some armor out of this. So, that's good. Let's do that. That doesn't do anything. If we put the helmet on... That doesn't do anything. Look at my character. He's like, hmm, what is what is this? What is that? Why doesn't it go there? I don't know. So apparently I can make the goggles, but for some weird reason I can't use them. So, goggles, you're going to become a, uh, you're a memento now. Boop. Until we can figure out what to do with you. <laughs> oh, man. But we do have a nice piece of uh, armor now. So we've got a little more protection. That's good. And are you done drawing? Does it show... Ooh, 59%, 60%. Nice, it shows us the progress. So I guess while that's going, let's run over here. We'll do some of this canola oil stuff real quick. I'm kind of, I'm kind of split as to what to do with this stuff because it seems like several... Oh, it hasn't grown yet. If only I had my Zafkiel Waltz thing set up, we might have to do that as well. But it seems like a little bit of extra work to try and get all this stuff to grow, to collect it, to put it in compost, to take it and put it on the grill, and then to use it for uh, biomass when I could use sawdust. Bio coal. Let's do it. Let's, let's check something here. So I think it said bio coal will cook four items. Is that right? Bio coal. Hit the letter U. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, smelts four items. Okay. And then let's see here. Saw dust. <clears throat> we'll click on that. And hit the letter U. Stage two. Ooh, what is that? Dynamite. Is dynamite. Huh. That might not be good to let Piggy have dynamite. It can be smelts 0.12 of an item. Okay. You can use it to make pot ash. That's right. We never could figure out what pot ash was going to be for can also make pulp out of it so it's good to use sawdust as a as a, a, a fuel source but it looks like what is it 0. 0.12 how much how much is uh, 4 divided by 0. 0.12 let's see here 7 times 12 would be 84 so 9 times 12 oh, we're doing all this math now <laughs> Nine times twelve. Nine times twelve would be one hundred and eight. So let's do that just to be in the ballpark. So nine times four would be thirty-six, right? I think so. So take thirty-six pieces of sawdust to cook the same amount as one piece of that biofuel, and we do get a fair amount of sawdust out of using the uh, the the saw over there. So they might be good to pair up. We could use both of them as fuel sources to go ahead and burn up all of that um, that sawdust. But at the same time, we could um, um, use that biofuel. So that, that might be something cool to, to use. So here we go. We're going to round out the episode with the piggy, piggy backpack. Could I carry myself? Can I wear it? Yes, I can. Okay, what do I look like? <laughs> Oh, man, I'm carrying myself. Look. <laughs> so how does this work? Right-click mobs to pick them up. So I've had to squat right-click. Okay, left-click is working. Wait a minute. My character's right-handed. I up That's right. I updated this mod pack, and I, I got to thinking something was weird. So all the text went back to the regular text instead of the Minecraft text, and now my hand is on the right. Let's fix this. Not advancements. Not that. There we go. Is it options? Skin customization. That's what it was. I can never remember where they hit it. Back to game. 
There we go. Now we're playing with the way we're supposed to. So can I can I right click you? It's not letting me. So it's not mobs. It's friendly mobs. We have to modify that. Come here. My all-in-one tool is going to uh, make you rue the day that you decided to not let me pick you up. Why won't you let me love you? <laughs> Let's see here. Do that. I'm Okay, here we go. Here's a trumpeter. The worst he could do is just push us around. Can I pick you up? I right-click you. No? Ooh, he does hurt. That's weird. He's got chainmail boots on, too. Okay, so you can knock me back with the sound of your trumpet, and then you can smack me in the face with your trumpet. Is that what it is? You got disco boots on, sir. Did you drop them? Did you drop anything? You dropped bones. Okay, so apparently I can only use this to pick up friendly mobs. So let's try this. And I do. I need to fix this area as well. So if I squat and right-click, I can pick you up like that and place you down. Now if I right-click, it's not working. It's not doing anything. It's a broken device is what it is. They got a cool thing in the mod pack for Piggy, named after Piggy, but you can't use it for nothing. <laughs> so c'est la vie, that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, so we've got the vine trap we don't know what to use for. The goggles don't work. The Piggy backpack don't work, but we got compost. So one out of four, yeah. <laughs> not bad odds, not bad. But if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed just doing a little bit of experimentation instead of working on the advancements, please click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time watching a video on the channel. Because that way, you can take one more step. See, YouTube's got the multi-step thing going on. You subscribe, and then make sure to click that bell, wherever that bell is on your screen. Click that bell, and that way YouTube can say, hey, psst, psst, buddy, guess what? Hey, buddy, guess what? Piggy put out another video. You should go watch it because it's really, really cool. Or it might be cool. It, it, it'll be a gamble like how we took today. A one in four chance that it might be good. <laughs> Not bad odds seeing how all the stuff that's on YouTube, right? <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get myself ready for next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode. <laughs>